Hey guys, it's Andrew here. We're here to talk about a, a quick question I got from a student today, uh, which I thought I'd do a video for because I think there's a few of you out there who might be thinking the same thing. Uh, so the question was, I don't understand what musician, this is the uh, theory program that we use, uh, is asking for a major six slash minus seven in first immersion or a minor sixth slash half diminished seven in first inversion. So I'm just going to uh, show you what that's all about. We've got to remember that <coughs> um, musicians asking uh, the slash doesn't indicate it's a slash chord um, because that's something different entirely. Uh, sometimes chords can be called many different things based on their context uh, and we only kind of can know the, 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 the best answer or the, the, the most correct or most elegant answer or the answer that makes sense, the most amount of sense uh, by putting it into context. If we're just talking about a chord in isolation, there are of course many different ways that you can name a chord. So let's take the example in uh, C major. So first of all, let's look at the chord C6. So C6, which means a C major triad with an added diatonic sixth, or the sixth from the major scale of the root note. So we have um, middle C, E, G, and A, which is the sixth scale degree of C major. So that is C major sixth. Um, so the, the question is, well, what, when it asks me to write the, the minor seven in first inversion, we have to think about, well, this is a C chord, yes, but a seventh chord is uh, four notes stacked in thirds. So we can see that we've got a third here, a third here, and a second here. And so remember when we're trying to find out what a chord is by removing the inversion, we're looking for stacked thirds. So here, if we were to take this note down an octave and put it in so we've still got our C major chord here, but this time instead of the A being on top, it's on the bottom. We now have an A minor seven chord, A, C, E, and G. So that is a you know a stacked thirds triad. Okay. So and remember when we're doing inversions. Uh, the, root invert, the, the root position is with the root note on the bottom, first inversion is the third on the bottom, second inversion is the fifth on the bottom, and third inversion is with the seventh on the bottom. So we move this back up again, and we have a also an A minor seventh chord in first inversion. We can also write that potentially, uh, let's just bracket these off for a minute. We could also uh, see that chord written, if this was the harmony we might see this as an A minus 7 slash C, because the C is the lowest note. Um, but as, as we've said before, it really depends on the context of the chord which will sort of help you um, find out the best uh, name for it. Let's have a look at the uh, C minor 6 versus a half diminished 7 chord. Uh, so we can kind of pretty much do the same thing except we'll keep the same basic notes. Remember C minor 6 now which you know C minor, C E flat, G, so it's got a flat here, and minor 6 remember C minor 6 doesn't uh, apply to the minor sixth above the root, it's a C minor triad with a major sixth above the root. Remember that the extensions come from the major scale degree unless, um, unless stated. Okay, so now we have, do the same thing, but this time we've got the, the E flat there uh, because this is now a minor seven flat five or an A half diminished Seven. They are the same chord. Again, this is talking about these are the same chords. Two different names of the same thing. So, this is 
A half diminished, or A minus seven flat five. And then if we move the root note back up again, these are the same chords. So we could say it's an, an A minor uh, seven flat five, oopsie daisy, or an A half diminished seven in first inversion. That's true. Yeah, but again, remember, it's about the context. It's not necessarily about naming the, the, the chords outright. Sometimes uh, you've got to use your the context to determine the best answer. So I uh, hope you found this useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.